Good morning. It's day two, and uh, I'm here at the park at uh, Grand Something Lake. I've forgotten the name of it. That's that's encouraging. <laughs> um, so today's plan is to get my gear together. Of course, I've been pre-planning this for a while, but this is the last packing of the gear onto the bike, or into the bike bags, more accurately. Get myself down to Ramuski, pick up a, a few last-minute things. I've got tons of time. I only have to be at the ferry at 6 p.m. Uh, it'll leave at 9. Um, and uh, I'll show that. <laughs> um, so, basically, pack my stuff up, get myself down to Ramuski, pick up a few last-minute things, including hopefully a tripod, um, and then um, get on the ferry and go. So we'll begin with the gear, and then uh, I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, we'll begin with the most important items, the bicycle repair stuff. Four, count them, four spare tubes, bicycle pump tested to make sure it works, food. This is 10 days worth of food for a very large man. Um, these are my batteries, or power banks I should say. They're each 20,000 milliamps. Okay, so as it turned out, the gear video was too long to put into this episode. So I'm going to make that a separate two-part video. And we'll just stick to the events of the day for this video. I have arrived in Ramuski. Okay, now it's getting real. <laughs> That's the ferry I'll be taking. And right now it's just unloading. Uh, and you're hearing all kinds of harbor sounds and such. And over there behind that cat, which has just been unloaded, I guess, uh, is my parking. So I'll be able to park there while I'm gone. So that's great. Um, and uh, I'll stop my video up right where I left off. Uh, the other thing I learned, which is really important, because I need to be here by 6, is that there will not be supper served on the boat tonight. Which I guess makes sense, since, since it actually departs the port at 9. So, my task now, it's about 1 p.m., 2 o'clock, is to go find myself enough food to last myself. I did buy some Harvest Crunch, so that might do me, actually. Um, and uh, then come back and park and then wait until 6.30 when maybe it'll be quieter. Okay, my camera ran out of power. So you're getting a bit of an echo here because there's my bike. In a shipping container. About to go on Yawn Boat. Very narrow. Doesn't help that I'm carrying my supper. <laughs> and they said something about scanning tickets, which is a concern to me. Okay, following the instructions, which were in French, but which I understood relatively well, I made my way up here, and I am now on the seventh level. I guess there's activities on the eighth. Oh, there's chips and bars, but you have to have real money. Oh, well, that's not good. So no chips or bars for me. No anything for me. Huh. And here's the eighth deck. And it appears to have tables, a TV. Huh. That's nice. And 
this is what it looks like outside the lounge on level 8. The Bella de Gagne is a working cargo ship, but it also offers cruises up the Côte de Nord. And so we had the typical cruise introduction. Alors le Bella de Gagné, euh, on va dire un peu, un peu le bateau, c'est un bateau qu'on appelle Cargo Mix. C'est très très rare dans le monde. And here we go, we're pulling away from the harbor in Rimouski into the very dark ocean ahead. We'll be all night crossing the St. Lawrence and landing in Septil at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is when I'll see you next. <laughs>